Hey, welcome back students. In this video, we want to go ahead and focus on some sample problems involving Graham's Law. And so we've got one written down for us here. The problem reads as follows. Compare the rates of effusion of carbon dioxide with that of hydrogen chloride at the same temperature and pressure. So essentially what we want to do here is kind of look at the following. We want to make sure that we compare carbon dioxide and hydrogen chloride. The very first way that we actually do this, if we don't want to go ahead and do the mathematical, is we just look at the masses of both of these. So if we got in the first instance carbon dioxide, and the formula for carbon dioxide is CO2, and we're essentially we're going to compare this with hydrogen chloride, which is HCl. And this is going to be hydrogen chloride in the gas, not hydrochloric acid, but hydro hydrogen chloride gas. Okay, and so we got to make sure that we do this because these are gases. And so we're essentially comparing the mass of both. So if we go through and we take the molar mass, or just the mass of each of these compounds, one mole of each, what we're going to get here is if we take the mass of carbon, for example, carbon weighs 14 grams. And the oxygen here, since we have two of them, essentially is going to be 16 grams times 2. And when we add these together here, this essentially turns into 32 grams. And we add the 14 and when we get that together, we, what we have here is 46 grams total for the carbon dioxide. And if we do the same thing for the hydrogen chloride gas, we've got 35.453 grams for the chlorine and 1 gram for the hydrogen. Adding both of these things together, or these masses, what we wind up getting for the hydrogen gas, hydrogen chlorine gas is 36.453 grams. And so there's the mass there. Now, first off, if we just did this, we can actually just kind of predict, since carbon dioxide weighs more than the hydrogen chlorine gas, we would expect that hydrogen chlorine gas would essentially, or hydrogen chloride gas, will have a faster rate of effusion. But the real question is here to compare the rates, and what we want to have here are actual solid numbers. So we want to be very specific with the answer here. And so the way we do that is the following way. Let me show you how to do this. Let me erase some stuff, and we'll do the mathematically if this is true. What we predict is that HCl is going to be faster. So we're going to put a little question mark here. We're going to go ahead and do our work here on the right-hand side just so we can see. All right, so what I've done here is just written the, the equation for Graham's Law on the right-hand side. And what we're going to do is we're going to use V1 to represent carbon dioxide. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put that over here. So equals V1. And over here, we're going to say equals V2, or velocity 2. And so that kind of gives us a little bit of a perspective uh, as to where we're going to go. And if it makes it a little bit easier, what I can do is I can just erase the little 1 and the 0 over here on this side. And what, what that allows us to do then is to essentially go through and um, identify them properly, but we really don't need to do that since we know exactly that the first one here is going to be CO2, but, you know, put CO2 there, and then the other one is HCl. And that's just for reference for you and I. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and substitute the various masses, and mass 2 will be the one for velocity 2. In this particular case, it'll be the mass of the hydrogen chloride. Uh, so this would be 36.4 five three grams and then divided by the mass of the first one which is a carbon dioxide which is 46 grams notice here the grams are going to cancel and the value that we wind up getting here is the following we wind up getting a, the square root so we're going to take the square root of 36.453 divided by the 46 and we take the square root of that value and what it winds up giving us is 0 0.890 Okay, and this is going to be relative to the velocity of carbon dioxide per the velocity of HCl. Now, when we do this, we know that carbon dioxide is going to move 0 0.890 times as fast as the velocity of HCl. So in this particular case, carbon dioxide is actually going to move a little bit slower. And the way we really know this is if we do the opposite. So if we do the uh, velocity of HCl over the velocity of the CO2 and run those numbers, substituting them for the mass 2 and the mass 1. So essentially we're going to divide 46 divided by 36.453 and taking the square root of that number. When we do that, we get 1.12. And in this case, since the hydrogen chloride gas is on the numerator, that means that the comparison here is from hydrogen chloride gas versus carbon dioxide gas in the denominator. 
So we can see here that hydrogen chloride gas is actually moving faster, and when we have carbon dioxide in the numerator, carbon dioxide gas is actually moving slower. So these are the actual answers for both of these, but if you wanted to pick one, let's say that we picked the top one here, we would say this here, the velocity or the rate of effusion of carbon dioxide is 0 0.890 times fast as fast as that of the hydrogen chloride gas. And if you're looking at the denominator one or the other example, we would say here at the bottom that the rate of effusion for hydrogen chloride gas is 1.12 times as fast as that of carbon dioxide. And so that's the way you do this sample problem.